Hey guys, how have you been? I know it's been a little while since my last video, so hi again. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It is quite a lengthy one, which is very different to my usual, but I hope you're able to stay and join in the little journey. So for the past few weeks, I've been working on something that's very exciting and very big. Well, at least it's big to me. I am going to be going to my very first art market. I have been drawing for a couple of years now and I don't know why I never applied to them, but this year I decided to give them a go. So in this video, it's all about me doing art market and convention prep. So I'm looking at different ways to set up my market and table, as well as doing inventory packaging, products and stuff like that. If you've been following along my artworks and my online shop for a few years now, you probably know that I have a lot of enamel pins. So one of the biggest challenges that I had to think about and try to tackle is how I was going to display the pins. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest here. I did not think of this gridding idea completely from scratch. I did do a lot of research before the convention and market days, so I did see a lot of different people's setups and try to get like inspiration from them. My favorite ones that I saw were actually the ones that I'm going with. And basically it's like this thick cardstock or foam board and you would have these little grids and then the pins can go on each little square. I thought that idea was super cute and very, very neat, which I really liked. So after I printed and cut all of the cardstock, I tried organizing or kind of planning where all of the different pins would go. Okay, so this is pretty much the final setup of how I want the pins to go on the cardboard. And now it's time to put them into the board. If I could tell you, I don't think you did. Okay, so here is the final result. I put the cardboard onto these wire grids, I think that's what they're called. So then they would be super duper stable and I can stack them with the rest of the grids. Okay, it's a new day now and I'm working on packing or preparing some shopping bags. Okay, so this idea was actually from my husband and when I told him that I was going to be going to my very first market, he suggested that I should prepare some shopping bags. He was speaking from personal experience whenever we go to art markets or any type of convention. A lot of the times people just give the products with no packaging or no bags. So then he ends up not wanting to buy stuff because he had to carry it or lug it around the place or even worry about it getting squashed. Okay, so the thing about the shopping bags is it actually took ages for me to finally get it finalized. Initially, I was just going to go use paper bags, but, but then that didn't have any handles, so it pretty much defeated the purpose. So after lots and lots of hours and days of research, we finally decided to go with these paper handle bags. Okay, this took me ages as well to figure out, but we decided to also just do our branding with stickers. That way it was super duper simple, quick and easy, and super cute at the same time. Hey, okay, so I did make these little stickers. So basically for the market, I'm thinking of bringing mystery bags. So these are going to be the jumbo ones, so they're going to be quite big. So there's going to be a print edition and a stationary edition. So for the print edition, it's going to include three large prints. So that's going to be A5 and five mini prints, which is going to be A6. And then for the stationary one, I want it to be kind of cute and themed. So it's going to have two washi tape, two sticky notes and two sticker sheets. I'm going to try to make them like color coordinated, but I'll see if that's possible. I'm also going to be including a coloring pack. So these are going to be a pack of four. I'm going to show you a little bit later me packing these guys. So I'm very excited about that. I think this is going to be the first time that they're going to debut. So I'm very excited. So over here, there's going to be some mini mystery bags as well. 
Um, for the mini mystery bags, it's just going to include one item each because the bags are quite small. But it's going to be a lot cheaper than just choosing from... Well, it's going to be a lot cheaper than just like buying it, knowing the design, if that makes sense. So this one, there's a sticker edition, which is one jumbo sticker. There's going to be a washi tape edition and a buttons edition. I haven't made the buttons yet, but hopefully I'll make it in time for the market. I'll see how that goes. But yeah, these are the little mystery bags and stickers for the coloring pack. Okay, so I quickly grabbed and tried to sample the little packs. So I got these little tea pouches that you pretty much heat up on this side and the people can like rip it. So this is going to be for the mini mystery bag, so it's quite tiny. And then for the jumbo one, I got these pink mailer bags or poly mailer bags. And yeah, that's going to fit a lot of the bigger things. So very excited. Ooh, the birds are very loud. But yes, very excited. There's going to be a mini one and a jumbo one. I'm actually surprised because I got these from two very different places, but the pinks actually match up. So I'm very, very happy about that. Okay, so here are the coloring pages. These are actually all from older artworks, but I pretty much just added my line art and then some little details. So this is like the little butt of the beach. So I added like little buds in the background and a little mermaid maybe. So that's the first one. And then this one, you guys probably recognize most of these artworks, but this one's like a cozy little comfy neighborhood. This one is, I think it's relaxing or sleeping buds. I forgot what it was, but it's the one with like the river stream. So there's this one and this cute little cow that I am very proud of because of how detailed this is. But yeah, so this is going to be in a pack of four. I think by the time this video is up, it's probably in the shop and Etsy already. So you can get these individually, or you can get them as a pack of four.
Okay, so my desk is a little bit of a mess, but I made the coloring book. So this is what the final products will look like. So there's four in each pack. So you see the little names of it. And then at the back, you'll see my QR code and I'll be adding the barcodes at the back. Now at the front, this is also super cool. I made these little display only stickers. So I thought it'd be cool for like all of the products like these to all be packaged. But then I'll have one that's like a display only at the front so people can like have a feel for the product and also see it. So hopefully that goes well. I have not seen people do that much so I wonder if it'll work. But yeah, I made a little flip book of all of the colouring pages. So that way people can see what's inside the full pack and they get to know like a general sense of what it feels like, how thick the paper is, and stuff like that. If I could tell you, I don't think you'd believe how long I felt this way. I'm begging you to stay. And if I could show you, I'd hope that you could see all the possibilities. There could be a place for you and me. And under the stars. Okay, so I just finished sealing all of the little mini mystery bags. So these are the sticker ones. These were pretty easy to seal because it's super duper flat. So there's one jumbo sticker in each one. So this is what it looks like. And then for the washi tape ones, they're a little crinkly, but I hope it still makes it kind of fun because people can just rip the top and then they'll see the little mystery. So the washi tape ones look like this. Later on, I'm going to add in the little barcodes at the back of everything, so I hope that goes well. So if you come over here, this is the general gist of how I want to display all of the sticker sheets. So as you can see, this will be like a display only sticker. So it will say display only, and then if it's glossy, matte, transparent, blah blah blah. So there's this. And then behind it, you've got the actual product. So let's see. I'll grab them from the back. So here it's all sealed and then you will see the QR code and I'll add the barcodes afterwards. If I could tell you I don't think you believe I won't for this way Okay, I just finished printing all of the barcodes, which there's so many, but yes, so I'm here just packing all of these little coloring packs and adding on the little barcodes. So that's what I'm planning on doing for all of my products. So it'll be a bit easier on the market. I just need to scan the barcode and it'll add into the cart. So yeah, I thought I'd add this little cute car card, cute QR code. <laughs> 
at the back so then people can like check me out on my website and stuff like that so yeah that's what I'm thinking and I think it looks really cute show you I'd hope that you would see all the